All right, so in a previous video, we took a look at two new key commands, which were add bus for folder track and add VCA for folder track. So I'm happy that we have those new key commands because they make things a lot easier in terms of reducing the amount of steps or the awkwardness or clunkiness that it took to actually create a folder track and then link that folder track to a VCA channel or a bus channel, get it the same name, same color, all of the above. That being said, I don't necessarily add folder tracks before I've linked them to bus channels. I, in fact, I might do it the opposite order or I might do things on the fly. So if we take a look at the current workflow or the workflow previous to version 6.2, the way that I would do it, let's say I have these drum tracks over here. If I wanted to pack these into a folder, I would just right click pack folder. Then from there, it would be a matter of extending this out and then determining whether I wanna have it as a bus channel or a VCA channel. And then from there, maybe color coding it, renaming it, all of the above. So what I wanna do is I wanna essentially create a macro that is gonna do that same thing. Now, the cool thing about version 6.2 is the macro page got some love. So uh, what I thought we would do is take a look at updating this key command that I use, which is this one right over here, the one where I pack folder right here. And I wanna update this to more of like a macro workflow that will pack a folder and link it to a bus. Okay. So first things first, we are going to click this little icon, the macros over here, and then we're going to click this cogwheel and we are going to open up the macro organizer. Now, right off the bat, you're going to notice that this looks a lot better. It's got a refresh. We have some abilities here that we didn't have before. The main one I want to take a look at is the ability to add or edit the shortcuts directly from within the macro page as opposed to having created the macro, then exiting the macro page, and then having to go back into key commands to make that association or to make that link. But the first thing we need to do is we need to add a actual macro that does what we want it to do. So I'm going to click new and we're gonna give this a title. And I think what would make sense is if we probably just titled it the same. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna search in the uh, commands, I'm gonna search for folder, and I'm going to title it exactly this, add bus for folder track. We'll go add bus for folder track. Now, this is kind of the description. We can have it be the exact same thing. I could put this in a group if I wanted to, but I'm not too concerned about that. So the first thing we need to do is we need to outline the steps. Well, I know that I want to pack a folder first. So I'm going to just type in here and I'm going to pack folder and we're going to click add. Now, in terms of the arguments, we do have the ability to enter an argument. So if I knew what the name was going to be ahead of time, so for example, I could name this bus if I wanted to, then this would automatically name that. And if we leave it blank, it will automatically just go with folder. I don't know if I would rather rename something that says bus or folder, but let's just say that I'd rather rename it and if, if it was automatically called bus. Now, the next step is we need to find that new command that we just got in 6.2, which is add bus for folder track. We will now add this. And then that's pretty much all we need to do over here. We have pack folder and then add bus for folder track. Now the folder will automatically be named bus, but this is something that we could actually change later. This is something I do anyways. I will just add a bus for selected channels and I will immediately double click it to name it. So I'm not too worried about this, but there is probably a way that we could get a rename channel option too. So if I said rename channel, this is something that we could, you could explore doing that. But for now, I'm happy with this exactly as it is. So with all this add bus for folder track, I'm going to click okay. Now, if you don't know where this is, even though I can see it's right at the top here, then we could search for it add bus for folder track and it's right here. Now the cool thing is we have the ability to edit the shortcut directly from within here. So I'm gonna click shortcuts and it is automatically selected the appropriate macro because keep in mind if I scroll up, this is under the macros. So it's automatically made that selection before you had to kind of remember what your macro name was and then search for it. Now it's much easier. And then in this case, I'm actually going to use the key command for add bus for folder track in place of the macro. So that's going to be shift or alter option F. It's going to tell me that it's already assigned to that. I'm going to assign it anyways, and that's going to overwrite it. And now we will click OK. Let's refresh this and then let's give this a test. 
So now we have the exact same scenario over here. I have all these tracks selected and where I used to have to pack a folder and then link it to a bus or a VCA and then name it and color code it. Now I should be able to do everything by one click. And that is just firing off this key command. Boom, we have this. Now I just name it drums and now I'm done. Now, if I wanted to have this be the same, but a VCA channel, it's just a matter of rinse and repeat. And then you could set this up for a VCA channel versus a bus channel. But either way, the new macro organizer tab, I really, really like it. It's a lot cleaner, a lot nicer to look at, but the Biggest thing for me is the ability to edit the shortcut of a macro just by selecting any shortcut that we have, just selecting it and then clicking shortcut. And it brings you right to your keyboard shortcuts in your preferences. So you can just enter a key, assign, apply, okay, and you're done. Anyways, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.